So why is it that people who practice self-talk, who do self-talk, why is it that they do better than others? Do you know? <laughs> We're going to talk about that. I'm Lenny Wennerstrom, and every day I am here to help you to find your purpose. And as a tool, I use Dr. Shad Helmstetter's book, 365 Days of Positive Self-Talk for Finding Your Purpose, because these phrases are super powerful. The self-talk phrases, when you repeat them, repeat them, repeat them to yourself, you're rewiring your brain, you're reprogramming your brain with the phrases that are helping you to be have higher self-esteem, to have success at in your in creating financial security, success. There was a bug almost landed on my face, and um, <laughs> or in um, have success at relationships because you are telling yourself, you are telling your brain, you're reprogramming your brain, you're telling your brain what is it that I want in life. It's very powerful and your brain will do it. Your brain, first and foremost, your brain is here to help you to survive. If you're not in survival mode, if you're not being, you know, having a, a big saber-toothed tiger chase you, that's how it all started, right? The saber-toothed tire, tigers um, chasing you to eat you and, or any of that. We don't, most of us do not have those kinds of issues in our lives. So we're not... The only thing we have are stories that we tell ourselves that <laughs> about lack or this is happening or that's happening or, or just different things. Sorry, there's a bug flying around and I think it almost went up my nose. Anyway, okay. So we don't have the saber tooth tiger. So we don't have that. We don't, the brain doesn't need to protect us. So we can reprogram that brain, rewire those neural pathways we can create new neurons to create new neural pathways. It's, it, like, it looks like this web in your brain. If you've ever seen pictures, look it up on, you know, go on, a, on, some, on something, like Google or something, and Yahoo, whatever you use, whatever browser. Go and look it up and look at neural pathways. Look at neurons. Look at them forming in the brain, and you'll see the connections that they make, and the more that they group together with something. So say if you have negative self-talk and you don't ever believe in yourself, they go click, 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 like a bunch of them. I'm, I have today's passage, so I'm going to put that down. But they're just like all these little, like these bundles in, in one spot in the head, depending on where, what negative or positive. And, um, and so they, they get into the, and they just form and they more and more and more and more. And it becomes like this file folder, this cabinet folder that anytime there's something that is negative, it finds everything in the brain. It finds every single negative experience or whatever that happened. And they all kind of come together in one spot. And then that's where you start feeling fear or, or you decide the brain decides for you basically that, um, that's, it's, it's negative. So you're not going to try to be better. You're not, you're going to just give in. You're not going to lose weight because it's easier because you've had so, you failed so many times doing it, or you're not going to go give that speech in front of that group because, because you're too afraid to get on stage. And so all of the things that you've told yourself over the years that it's too difficult for you to get on stage or it's too, um, it's too difficult to, to talk to a crowd of people or any of those things, all those, everything that you ever heard from the time you were born till the time that you've been telling yourself these things or you've heard other people tell you, that's like the number one fear of people standing on stage or any of those things. And, and so what happens, bzz, 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 they get wired into our brain wired, wired, wired into your brain. It, it's whatever those things, when they are repeated often enough, they become part of us. So that's what, when I say your neural pathways or new neurons or any that the neural, the, the bundles of neurons that are uh, neural pathway, everything going together in like one spot in your head. It, it looks like fireworks, kind of like if you webbing fireworks. I, I encourage you to go look and see what that looks like. It's very, very powerful. Your brain is very, very powerful, which means you are the driver of your brain. That is your machine. That is your computer. You can do anything with it that you choose to. You can, it, this is why it's so exciting. This is why neuroscience is such an exciting field. 
and and the neuroscientists have shown us these researchers have shown us that you can change absolutely anything you were not born to you were born to have success in every single area of your life and then the programs people with other programs that told you you couldn't do this like the 148,000 times you were told no if you grew up in a reasonably positive household you were told no what you couldn't do what couldn't happen how things couldn't be done over 148,000 times as my mentor Dr. Shad Helmstetter has told us that it's probably that's probably even a that's probably a mild number <laughs> or a low number so and that's a reasonably positive household. No. And what couldn't be done? Limiting. Limiting beliefs. Limitations. You are unlimited. So let's get to the let's get to the passage. I just want to talk about those when I talk about neural pathways and and creating new uh, neural networks and and stuff. That's that's what I'm talking about. And I am no expert. I have learned what you can learn. What I have learned is that I can reprogram my brain. And by gosh, Aruz, if I can do that, you can do that. And I have been doing it. I have absolutely been doing it and seeing amazing success in myself, in my daughter, in my clients, in family members who are doing it. It's, it's amazing. And then when you pair that with the coaching the, for my clients, for myself, because I also pay for coaching, when you pair it with that, and, and you really start working on those, those programs that are limiting you, that are, that are stopping you, holding you back, that are all these mental, negative mental programs. It's, it's super powerful. And I love the ability to change my programs from negative to positive so that I can do absolutely anything to stop procrastinating, to stop all these things that hold us back. So they, they, we procrastinate, there's fear, we self-sabotage these things that we start telling ourselves these stories. We feel guilt. We feel shame. Oh my gosh, I was going to start doing this. I never did. You know, I meant to lose weight. Oh, how long ago was that? Like five years ago. <laughs> and here I am today, you know, 35 pounds more or, or, or just, you know, I, I wanted to do that. Here's one for me. I, I create, I, have these inventions that pop into my head and not so much anymore, but they used to a lot because I really wanted to be an inventor. <laughs> I wanted to invent so many things. And, uh, and, and it's funny how if you go long enough, you'll actually, you might actually see your invention because no, every single thought, like there is nothing that is unique. Like it might be, you might have a unique take on it, but in the universal field, it's all one and it's all there and it's there for anyone to pull from, to tap into and pull from. So I did have one invention that I actually did see happen and it didn't last very long. I don't think it was done as well as I would have um, wanted in my head how I had designed it. But anyway, I did see it. So you can see it's not, it's, it's not, um, Anyone can have those thoughts and create really anything. So, and, and remember, all of the, it doesn't matter whether it's an invention or a creation, meaning that you create something new, not like a, an invention, but something you're it, it, like creating a new course or, you know, teaching somebody a new skill or any of those things. It's all, it's all a spiritual practice because you're bringing from the invisible, you're bringing it into the visible. You're being able to see it. Some things may not be tangible, like a, a an online course or something, a digital online course, but you can see what's on the screen. You can you can work with it. You can you have brought it into the visible. So, so there there's that when I'm talking about all this neuro, uh, uh, neuroplasticity, and and just the power of your own brain. So let's go into June 18th. It's day 170. 196 days are left. And we are 46.45 complete with, with 2024. Yeah, June 18th. So here's, and, and oh, and where I started was, why do people who practice positive self-talk, why do they do better? So we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk about that in just a second. But first, here's the passage for today. I listen to my wishes and my dreams. They tell me how I would like things to be, what I would like to do, 
and what I would like to make of this amazing life I have been given. Bzz, what do we do? Rewind. Not rewind. We're going to do it in the second person to, to, to talk to you. You listen to your wishes and your dreams. They tell you of how you would like things to be, what you would like to do, and what you would like to make of this amazing life you have been given. Do you ever think things like that? Do you ever say, what should I do with this amazing life I've been given? What do I want to do with it? Or do you just get into the grind? You wake up, you do the same thing, you have the same morning routine, you go and, uh, where's the coffee? Uh, <laughs> and, and, and just have that same routine and get the kids ready or get yourself ready and then, you know, off, you know, shower and off to work you go and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it's amazing when you shake it up and, and, and start really seeing, like, what is it that you want to do with your life? This amazing, amazing life you've been given. What are you going to do with it? So that was, that was the passage for today. Let's, let's go to self-talk tip number 23, which is why do people who practice positive self-talk do better? Overall, people who think in a positive, optimistic way and who actively practice using positive self-talk tend to do better in dealing with problems than people who are negative. Why is that? I'm listening. Why is that? <laughs> I'll keep reading. The answer is based on neuroscience. Thinking negatively shuts down the creative, open-minded qualities of the brain. Positive self-talkers are open to more alternatives, so they have more choices when it comes to solving problems and dealing with life. They literally see more solutions than people whose horizons are limited by negative thinking. Neurologically speaking, positive self-talk wires in the idea of giving yourself more choices and being willing to see the possibility of succeeding. While negative self-talk convinces you to stop trying, practicing positive self-talk keeps you looking for a more successful outcome until the right solution can be found. So open-minded, more neural pathways are opening up, more more the plus let me bring in the spiritual aspect of that because you know this practical spirituality it is very practical the universe is very practical it's like what you say you want it gives you so if you're practicing negative self-talk and you're saying i'm not good enough i'm not i'm too old i'm too young i'm too short i'm <laughs> i'm too this i'm too that i don't have enough i'll never have enough no one in my family has ever succeeded I, I just, you know, other other people have more and they were born with a silver spoon or this or that or da 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 da. All those things. All those things that hold you back. And and when when you are the universe, when when you start talking, when if those are your primary thoughts, and it'd be so good for you to monitor monitor this and, and edit, by the way, <laughs> and, and reframe all of those things, it's then what happens is you is you start to, um, <laughs> you, you're telling the universe, you're focused on what you don't want. Like, do you want to feel unworthy of having lots and lots of money and, or having success in your life? Or do you, do you want to feel that you're too short or that you're too old or that you are, um, to this, to that, or do you, that you, you, you'll never have enough money? Do you like how that feels? Because what that is, is lack. We live in a very abundant universe. The universe knows that. <laughs> and, so, and so when you are in lack, if it, if it does not feel good to you, you can pretty much guarantee that you are in lack. You can look and see at whatever you are thinking and, and think, I'm in lack. Like, I am not in abundance. I'm not even in neutrality. This does not feel good. I must be in lack. And then you can reassess and reframe and, and, and decide if that's the way you want to be thinking, if those are the words you want to tell yourself. And, um, and if, if that is whatever you were thinking, if that is holding you back, if that is a limitation, because we are unlimited light beings. At, spiritually, we are unlimited. And, and so when we come in our human form and the human experience was which is an adventure and, and and a privilege and an honor to be here and i totally believe that we chose it all and so if we chose it one how can it be wrong how can it possibly be wrong for us and two it's 
it, it is something that, that if we are, are here and we decided it was something that was important for us to, to explore and, and in our, and to explore this in our own consciousness, like to, to have those experiences so we could grow in our consciousness and, and to see what, to, to feel that contrast of something that doesn't feel good, like lack to abundance, like dark to light, wet to dry, hot to cold, like good to bad, evil to sunshiny happiness and good. <laughs> However you want to look at that. So that contrast is what helps us to see what we want. So when we focus, when you have the needle on, let me see which way this, I'm trying to look at the camera. My my uh, microphone, it, it's kind of hard for me to do it, and it's a little bit chilly tonight. So, And last time it, it sounded like it was really kind of far away, so I still have to work on that. But anyway, so if the if it's, so say this is empty and then this is full. And so if, if you are in abundance, you'll, you'll feel that, you know, you want to you wanna feel full. <laughs> I'm trying to do my eccentrics where, but I'm not doing that so well, meaning I'm able to move my hand more. So, but anyway, you want to go to full. Right, you want to be on full with your with feeling in abundance because the universe always says yes. Your brain always says yes. So if you tell your brain like um, I can't do this, I can't do that, and you repeat, 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 this is neuroplasticity, right? That the brain is always re rewiring itself, and one of the rules of that is repetition. Repetition, whether positive or negative or somewhere in between, whatever is most repeated to you, those programs are the strongest wired in. And that's going to be the default. That is that will always be your default. So, and and here's the good news: you can change those programs. You can rewire for stronger programs, meaning that you can be confident. You can have high self-esteem. You can be fully confident in knowing that you are able to go get a job or create a business or something that can bring you the financial abundance and success and security and um and and strength security uh the financial strength that you want in your life for yourself and for your family to find a relationship to know that you can bring a relationship into your life that is that is healthy and good and fun and supportive and there for you and that you can do any of these things and have these winning relationships have these these positive relationships find, you know, financial success, find your, your health and fitness, that you can create the health that you desire, that you are not a victim to your circumstances. And you can literally move. I mean, the, the work of Joe Dispenza is, is definitely, if you've not, if you don't know who Joe Dispenza is, look the guy up and look at how people have literally changed, gone, changed their biology from sick to healthy even even um inability to walk as you know joe got hit by a truck so how did he get his life back out what did he do he changed his biology so this is all possible every single possibility probability exists you can do be change absolutely anything including your own biology if you believe if you don't believe then that becomes your reality. Whatever you believe becomes your reality. So now I know we got, uh, uh, we went a little more into the spiritual, yet I, I want you to understand the power, the power that you hold, the ability for you to, like when you start practicing this self-talk, like this this whole thing, like people who, who think in a positive, optimistic way and who actively practice... Being Pollyanna and thinking Pollyanna, I, I started reading that, but but being thinking positive, you know, having saying positive affirmations, that's not what this is. This is working with the brain, literally rewiring the brain. So it's not just thinking positive. I need to think positive. If you are thinking positive and you're repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, repeating it to the brain, then that is a good thing. That is powerful. And, um, and it's, that is where you are creating new programs wired into your brain neurologically. So that brain is going to fire off your new brain, this new program that you're, that you are creating. And this is why that the app that I am constantly promoting, it's Dr. Shad Helmstetter's app, but the reason I promote it, I use it. I, I won't coach anyone who's not using it because I know 
they won't have any success. They're going to be stuck in those old programs that they have and they're never, they're going to procrastinate. They're going to have fear. They're going to be held back by their old programs. They're going to give up. They're going to, they're going to do all the things that they've been doing for all the years, like I used to do. <laughs> like so many people that I know, most of us, because we were all programmed. Anyway, I don't anymore. Like procrastination is, procrastination is, now it, is it a program? It, it could be called, it could be called a, a coping mechanism. It could be called, it could be called all kinds of stuff. Procrastination. Yet the thing, when you just start, when you just take a step forward, you, it, it, because is procrastination fear? Sure, it could be fear. It could be fear that you're going to have failure. And so then you create a story around it. And then it feels like, oh, I don't even want to do it. Then you feel frozen and then overwhelmed and, and overwhelmed takes you into even more frozenness. And then you never accomplish what you were going to accomplish. Yet, how about instead of the, when you feel that procrastination, that resistance, even if you're not listening to self-talk at this point, hopefully you are, you, you have that, you've downloaded that app and you are that language of positive self-talk. You're listening to that to reprogram those, your brain. And, and by the way, it's all passive. You're listening passively 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. That's it. While you're doing something else, it takes no time out of your schedule, nothing. And, and the brain is just listening and rewiring those programs in for you. And uh, these positive programs that will help you to have success in every single area of your life and including procrastination and setting goals and making things happen for yourself. Yet while you're in it, like what, while we're here and what could be the first thing that you could do if you feel like there's resistance and, and there, that you just, you you feel like you're procrastinating or you know you're procrastinating. So, okay, so it's a program, but what are you going to do about it? All you have to do is take a baby step. You just need to get yourself in, mo you need to feel motivated so remind yourself why you were going to do that in the first place. Like the first step is, is motivation. Why were you going to do what it was that you were going to do? Why were you, why, <laughs> I'll take, a, I'll take uh, someone's example, my daughter. <laughs> Emptying the dishwasher was like the biggest thing. All these years I'd go to her apartment or her, wherever she was. And, and when I visited all the time, I would empty her dishwasher. She just, that was just so difficult for her. And um, it's like, I don't know why I procrastinate. It's just like, I don't know why. And, and, and we worked through that in the coaching. We, and now she just does it. But it, but it was really just, it, it's the why, first of all, you got to find the obstacle. Like you've got to list the obstacle. This is an active goal setting. So I'm not going to go into that again, because I already have, but, but and I guess I've kind of gone into an example that where you need the obstacles, but if you, if you write out the obstacles, then you can see them and, and they, it, that pretty much neutralizes them, especially when you have action steps, like how to, that creates your plan, like how to overcome that obstacle. And, and then you date that by, you put a date on when you're going to overcome that obstacle. And so that will help you actually, with your your goal setting like if that were to be a goal like it was for my daughter and um and and so now she just sails through that because it's no longer like this thing that she procrastinated around and and we have so and and somebody else might think gosh that's ridiculous I mean just go and just empty this darn dishwasher yeah there's there that was something that really stopped her there was something you know the dishes didn't quite fit here and there and and this and that just different things and it and and there had to be more things that had to happen and so it became something that she had didn't really even know in her in her mind it it just there was it became a bigger thing than just emptying the dishwasher and we we find ourselves so many of us find ourselves just frozen in those moments like and thinking why can't I just get up and do that? Like, what? why can't I just get up in the morning and, and work out? Like, what is stopping me? Or say you start working out in the morning and you start, like, even at the beginning of a year, right? Your New Year's resolution. And you get up and you start walking and then three days later you stop. Or two weeks later you stop. And, and then you're just, like, self-flagellating, like, 
why did I stop? Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> why can't I keep going? So procrastination, uh, it, it truly is just these, yes, yes, it's a program, right? It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of programs put together about a bunch of different things. And, uh, and, it, and, and it could be your brain's way of just, you know, helping you cope with, with something for the moment and keeping you safe, safe, right? Saber tooth tiger, uh, you know, I'm frozen. I can't move. There's too many things going on in my head. <laughs> I have to do this and that. And you start being overwhelmed and frozen and can't move. Procrastination, motivation. That's the answer. Why? What, what uh, especially around something that you want to do, like a goal, something you want to get done and you really do want to do it. Why do you want to do it? Remotivate yourself. Find the motive. Find find out like why was it? Why is it important to you? And then and and you can go through all the obstacles that are stopping you and all that. But the biggest thing is to just start moving. Like take one teeny baby step forward because when you start moving, as my daughter loves to say, a body in motion stays in motion, and it's true. And so when you take that first step, all of a sudden you start finding, oh, I could take the second step and the third. It's, it's not so bad. And it just really starts get, getting you going. But it's, it's, a, it's a lack of motivation, especially when it comes to goals. So I, I really hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope that, the, that um, you, you understand the power of neuroplasticity, of your brain, of your ability to rewire, to retrain your brain, to do anything that you want. And I'll list, I'll, for the last, I'll, I'll read again, June 18th, the, the passage. So I can leave you with that because, and I'm going to leave it in the second person that bzzz, around. You listen to your wishes and your dreams. They tell you of how you would like things to be, what you would like to do and what you would like to make of this amazing life you have been given. What will you do with this amazing life that you have been given? I love you so very, very much. Oh, you can do this. You can find your purpose. You can find your purpose. You can do absolutely anything that you want to do. You can be change, do, create anything that you want to, if you really want to. You are that powerful. You were born to have success in every single area of your life. And then you got programmed and those, and now your, your brain is covered up with those programs that are not benefiting you and you can rewire those. And you can find out how in the description, as I always share. You can find your purpose, which will give you direction. And you'll have that meaning in life that you are craving. Most of us crave that because that's who we are. We want that meaning. There's a reason why we are here. What is your purpose? What is your mission? Why are you here? I believe in you. You can do this. And I love you so very, very much. And as always, shining my light to brighten yours. And we'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.